Hey guys, we are day two. It's time for lunch. I have my helper who's getting a haircut today. Look at this hair. Um, so like I've been telling you, I have found a little bit of a trick to have a healthier tuna. I love tuna fish, but I don't like it dry. I'll do it dry if I'm gonna throw it on a salad or something, but if I'm putting it on a sandwich, I need mayo or something in it. I've tried it with mashed up avocados, not my favorite. So when I found out and I fell in love with this brand of yogurt dressings, because like I showed you before when I had my salad, once I saw this dressing and I tried it, I came home, I threw away every dressing that we had and I replaced it all with this brand yogurt based dressing. So it's made with yogurt. So you don't have the, all the, the fat and all that other stuff in it. So this is what I use instead of mayonnaise in my tuna fish. So thank you, I don't need it. <laughs> He's using my selfie light. Tara's saying hi. Hi. She said hi, come back. She wants to see you back in the video. He's playing with my selfie case trying to give me some more light. <laughs> um, so I mix my tuna with this. So I have already drained and rinsed and opened my tuna. Um, I do not buy, of course, they put this upside down. Let me get you a can that's right side up. And that's my bread is done. Um, I buy this tuna. I like the albacore and in water. Make sure you don't get it in oil. Make sure you get it in water. You don't need the extra oils. Um, and of course I have my famous bread, which Tara, I took a picture of it and um, I put it in that one where you were asking what bread I eat, but it's this bread. And there's a cool story behind this bread. This guy, Dave, actually went to jail. I forget what for, but I think it's on the side of the bread where I read it. Um, he but he someone. realized that like he wanted to make like this killer bread. He worked in the kitchen or something, 15 years in prison, it says. Um, Let's see if I can say it, see it real quick. Person. That's why it's called it's Killer a, Bread. Yeah, I don't remember what, but yeah, it's called Killer Bread. Um, so he, let's see, welcome back to Family Bread. Okay, so after he was in prison, um, he went to um, work at the family bakery. And that's where he realized he wanted to make a killer bread, like a really good bread. So that's why it's called Killer Bread, because they're saying like it's killer, it's really good. So, um... He did that. Now, there's tons of other ones of it. You use Kirkland's tuna. I've never, um, I never, I've never tried their tuna. I'll have to try it. Um, so I, um, I found the bread, but there was tons of other ones. There's that multi, the whole grain, um, 21 whole grain with seeds, and then there is, um, they have a whole bunch of other ones. I just keep buying that same one because Alex loves it. Like for a snack sometimes, if he still needs another carb, that's his go-to now for carbs. So at least it's healthier. Um, oh cool, thanks Tara. I'll have to try the Kirkland tuna. I haven't tried that one yet. Or at least I can't remember if I did. So basically I put the tuna in the plate. You see it's dry, there's nothing else. Um, do you mind grabbing me that salt and pepper right over there please? He's patiently waiting for me to make him his yummy grilled cheese that I made yesterday. I'll have to show you guys the cute pan that my dad gave him for all his grilled cheese because they know how much he loves grilled cheese. So they, I guess they had the pan at home and Ryan saw it and then they gave it to him. Oh, it's this pan. Look at how cute it is. It's perfect for one little grilled cheese sandwich. So this is Ryan's pan. This is known as Ryan's pan in the house. So that's what I make his sandwiches with. Every once in a while, I can go for a good grilled cheese too. I haven't tried it yet with that bread, but now that I'm talking about it, I totally wanna try it. Um, let's see. So I'm just mixing it up here. I don't make it super wet, um, but I don't like it super dry either. Um, Kayla actually likes the tuna meat this way. So I put a little bit of a pinch of salt. Salt always brings out the flavor, even if you're eating something sweet. A little bit of pepper. So I don't know if you guys have ever learned that, but even if you're eating something sweet, um, if you have a little bit of salt, like when I make my apple pie and I put a little salt in it because it brings the sweetness out. Don't put a lot, just a little bit. Um, I just need a little bit more ranch dressing. It's not wet enough for me. I don't want it falling out of my sandwich when I put it on the bread and I eat it. Um, so now, one thing is with sandwiches, I know I usually want something crunchy like chips. So what I try to do is, um, I have found some other like healthier type chips, like the veggie chips and the sweet potato chips and stuff like that. So if I really want a chip, I'll do that. Or because I need to get some more veggies in, um, I'll do like carrots. 
then I'll do a little hummus for healthy fat. Um, what I'll also do for healthy fat on my tuna sandwich at times is I'll cut up some slices of avocado, which is what I'm gonna do today. So Ryan, if you don't mind, bottom drawer in the refrigerator, if you can get me an avocado, please. Yes. Kayla, did you want some of this tuna on a sandwich? Would you like a half sandwich because I know you just ate? I don't think so. Um, so we're just getting the avocado. Do you need to cut it? Um, okay, you can cut the avocado. But stand here, show them, how, show them how you cut it. You have to hold it up and you go like this and you just spin oh, it all the way around. Yeah, it's super soft. Oh, I'm in no stuff already. <laughs> The trick with avocado, you gotta keep the knife in. Look. Yeah, you could do it. Oh, you did it all the way. No, you did it. Mm -hmm. um, the trick with finding the best and most perfect avocado is you don't want it super squishy, but you don't want it super hard. If it's super hard, it's not gonna be yummy. So see, yummy avocado. Look at that. So I you don't it want it. I want to skip the. Yeah, but I don't want all of it. You can use this side, and then it has this on my little cutting thing. Takes the seed right out. I just want, oops. I just want a few slices on there. How do I cut it? Use the cutting part, or you can use that part. You just gotta push all the way into it. Do it right. Here, can't do it. You have to do that one. Got it. Because I messed up on that one. So here's my avocado cutter. Cuts all the pieces. Obviously, I'm not having all of these pieces. So I'm just gonna put the few pieces I need. And then Ryan, can you get me the container for the avocado to keep its? Where is it? It's in the drawer right there to the left of the refrigerator. Oh. It looks like a plastic avocado. And then you could put that half in it. You could put that half in the avocado. Yeah. So yes, I have a special avocado cutter and I have an avocado holder. You put it, you gotta put it upside down like this. So this will hold the avocado so it won't get brown and yucky because Ziploc bags don't work so well. So you can put that back for me, please. So, then I take a very little bit of balsamic vinegar. <laughs> Tara said, you have me cracking up over here. You must have a utensil drawer. I totally do. This entire drawer right here, and then I have a drawer over there with like all the specialty things. I have all sorts of stuff, kitchen gadgets. So I sprinkle a little balsamic vinegar, because I love vinegar. So here is my sandwich. Healthy yet super tasty. Obviously, it's not an open face sandwich because here's my other piece of bread. But I just wanted you to be able to see what my sandwich is. Like. So, super healthy, healthy bread, healthy tuna, no mayonnaise. I have a healthy fat with um, the avocado. So, we're good to go to enjoy. And today, I don't even think I need a side for it. So, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys how I make a healthier tuna. I know I've been talking about that for a couple of days that I wanted to show you. And tonight, I will teach you how to have healthier tacos. Bye, guys. Bye, Tara. Bye.